whenever you're on your period do this and you see things happening you can do it for somebody you can do it for your husband you can do it for your somebody close to you like your loved ones you can do it for yourself and you never lack anything hello everyone welcome back to my channel thanks so much for stopping by if you are new here for the first time you are so welcome my name is pamela so here on this channel i share spiritual tips i share messages spiritual tips that will help you greatly to turn things around for you messages that will help to make your prayers to be answered faster show you the kind of prayer to pray how to pray for fast answer you doing it rightly follow the instructions by the grace of god you see things working perfectly in your life if you love spiritual tips go on and subscribe turn on the bell so that whenever i upload videos you get notified and come and watch so i'm going to go straight into this video like you have to do this whenever you're on your period you can say oh this is for women okay if you're a man just listen to this like watch this video because you can share it to somebody a female friend or your wife to do this it can really go a long way to help you if you're a man this can actually change your life if you're suffering if you're not doing well in things that you are doing if you're not a man like you're a man naturally but you know there are some things that make one a man yes you have to take charge like you have to take charge taking charge is you never lack like you asking god that you don't want to lack for supply telling god you need supply when there is abundance you have taken charge so you need to take charge if you're a woman you can actually bless your husband with this so or bless yourself prosper in anything you want to prosper in any way you want to prosper by the grace of god whenever you're on your period you have to pray seriously do serious cleansing like period removing period like seeing your flow is actually like a cleansing a cleansing method you can use this method to get anything you want if you know how to use it rightly so i've not done a video like this because i i focus in like mainly protection and all that but i have decided to start making some videos that i believe that it will touch everybody so this particular one is powerful if you're a woman if you're a lady when you're on your flow from that beginning this is the time to be more spiritual like be very spiritual anytime any day because you don't know when the enemy will attack you know we are living in a wicked world if you're a spiritual person you understand but don't just say i'm on my flow let me uh everywhere is you know I don't have the strength you know there are hormones released when you are seeing your flow and that can make some women sick and all that but spiritually this time you need to pray seriously this is the time to ask god to have mercy upon you this is the time to be more sober this is the time like like spiritually you are removing uncleanliness from your body and that is why i always say do not be on your flow and touching spiritual work Okay, this is a cleansing method. You don't need to touch any other thing because you are removing something which is bad in you. Earthwise, you are cleaning your womb, removing things which are not right. And also, this is the circle for women. So, but spiritually, this is a cleansing method that it gets rid of afflictions, it gets rid of evil. Anybody that has placed evil upon you, you can use the power of your flow to stop it. If you know how to stop it you can also request for anything at the end of your flow request for anything yes. in your flow i did not say bring your pad no you don't need to bring it out and stop you know just speak tell god to have mercy upon you that you're a sinner that as you're cleansing out like removing blood yeah seeing your flow that you need god to cleanse out anything which is not right in your life and anything unclean in your life the one you must have brought to yourself or the ones that evil ones has placed upon you tell god to wash away evil from your life as you're cleansing pray like this day one pray like this day two some people they flow for five days some people they flow four days some people's own is short three days some people two days that one is not healthy okay you can you need to check yourself because it can be imbalance of hormone if you know that you are seeing your period two days three days you have to be praying like this every day, morning and night, morning and night. I did not say you should not do any other thing. I mean, even as you are wearing that, uh, you are seeing your flow. You can be praying silently. 
telling God to cleanse you. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, and may sinner forgive my iniquities. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, and may sinner forgive my iniquities. You can use Psalm 51. Pray. Read Psalm 51 in the Bible. This is a mercy verse. This is a mercy prayer talking about God to have mercy upon you. To cleanse away which is not what is not right in your life. To, to, cl to cleanse away anything which is not right in your life. So this is what you have to be doing day one, day two, day three. Okay? Just do it like this. If you are interceding for somebody, your husband, your husband is not doing well. This is the time to pray. Tell God that your husband is lacking. That God should have mercy upon you. God should have mercy upon your husband. First, tell God to have mercy upon you to cleanse away evil. If you are the cause of the problem in your marriage that is making your husband not to achieve good things, tell God to have mercy upon you. If it's your husband's uh, fault, okay, you know some people, they are progressing, but when they get married, maybe they marry a woman. It's not as if the woman is a bad person. Okay, It can be that force is following that woman unknowingly to her. So when you get married, you see that some men will be losing job. Okay. Why some people, they are not doing well. When they get married, they will not start prospering. So any way it is, just know that it's not your wife's fault. Okay, you can actually help yourself. So your wife can actually help you by praying during this time. Tell God Almighty to have mercy upon you, have mercy upon your husband, that your husband is not doing well. You want your husband to prosper in everything he's doing. He wants things to change totally. You know, the will of God for us are not of evil, but of good to give us an expected end. God grants riches without adding sorrow to it. God, God, if God wants to prosper you, it's just, just a little thing. You don't think that it's impossible. God can change things in just a second. So, pray for your husband, pray for your loved one, pray for your brother. But this works best for you and your loved one, like somebody you are, you are doing things with like your husband or your wife if your husband is doing something which is not right in the marriage this is the time to tell god to have mercy upon you that you need a change you need god to change him okay and it works try it if you do this and it did not change then you know that but just know that this is very effective if you see your period for only two days only three days only four days only five days or you see it non-stop or maybe your own is irregular you see it longer, like seven days. On the last day, you close your prayer. Then you start telling God to provide good things for you. Day one, ask for mercy. Ask for mercy. Continue asking for mercy and telling God your problems. Then the last day, tell God, thank you for the prayer answered. And you want these things to manifest. You see it manifesting. Any other day, which is not your period, you can actually pray, like I said earlier. You can do your normal prayer. But I'm just telling you that you should make use of the power of your flow wisely. And God will grant all your heart desires. In Jesus' name, Amen. So I want to tell you that you have to beware of scammers. People are using my name, using my image, uh, creating pages, scamming people, giving out numbers, saying they want to do spiritual work for you, that I'm the one. I'm not the one. I don't do spiritual work for people. I don't even give phone number, WhatsApp number. I, do, I don't give. So you have to beware of scammers. Okay, they are just trying to get money from you. If they are genuine, they will not use under me. They will not follow from me. They want to scam you. So you have to be wise. You have to be vigilant. You have to be prayerful. And God will answer all your heart desires. I share only tips. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video. Go on and put your name or your loved one's name in these Psalms and experience total prosperity, total supply all over you. Yeah. And after that, you have to get a paper, small size, big size, anyone, you know, any request you want, just take with that. If you have 1,000 requests, write it. If the paper will contain it, just get any size of paper, just write anything you want. You need good health. You know, I always ask that you should seek for salvation first, closeness with God, that forgiveness, so that you'll be sure that God has forgiven you. Place it in between these Bible verses I'm going to show you. These powerful Psalms that has been doing wonders. It's still doing wonders, and it will forever continue doing wonders. The Word of God can never change. So you have to check this out. 
Psalm 118. I don't joke with this psalm. I love it. I love it so much. Psalm 118, verse 24 and you know, 24 and 25. Psalm 118, 24, 25.